Did them. you make that on the Octopus book? On like right here? Uh huh. I it's did. It's the worst too. Why? No, up here. Because uh, super soft skin and uh, a lot of hair, you know, that look at it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of hair. <laughs> you need to shave before <laughs> tattooing. <laughs> in, in Barcelona. <laughs> Another style. most difficult part of the body to tattoo? Um, I don't like tattooing feet. I will if it's like part of a bigger project. I feel like right here, like where the collarbone like meets the neck is a really weird area. <laughs> Should we keep going there? Because you're trying to take a picture and you're, you're like using the green soap and you're trying to like clean every toe. It's just, I don't know about it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I will do that, but I hope it's a cool tattoo. I'll just wait for the pipes. <laughs> People always want to get lip tattoos. I hate doing that. I would say anywhere where there's like a mucus lining. Everybody is like, can I get a lip tattoo? I'm like, ah, dude, not for me. I'm not going to do it. I'm not a dentist. I'm not going to be in your mouth. Daddy? So like mouth or like inside labias or like anything that's like soft and gelatinous. It's just one of those things that's like temporary pain. So I don't, I don't know. Some people are into that. I'm not into that. I hate pain. I'm sensitive. Probably the penis. <laughs> <laughs> I tattooed a vagina and that was pretty hard because I didn't know where to put my hands. It's, oh no. Because it has that to was stay hard. flaccid, you know, it has to stay. Oh. Like, and then Does you gotta be? stretch the skin. It's impossible to stretch skin that stretches forever. Wouldn't it be easier if it wasn't? Probably, but then like it's stretch too easy, you know? Then you might hit something that you don't want to hit and then imagine a blow it on a I don't even know. Like, I felt like I had Barbie hands. You know how like the Barbie hands are like this, like Maria just had? Like, if the hands were like this, this is how my hands was. I was like, I don't know. Like, I didn't know where to press the stretch. I didn't know where to like rest my hand. And this tattoo literally went from pubic line to clitoris. Have you tattooed inside the lady before? No, but I've had friends that have told me and the mouth thing, it's pretty similar depending on, I guess if she's or not. I was like, oh yeah. And I got like my head down here and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. like I'm like trying not to talk in her vagina. Like, so it would be like a vagina area type area for me. I mean, I've seen somebody tattoo a butt hole. The butt is actually, I find, kind of difficult because it's just very stretchy and like there's no like, uh, I guess depends on the butt. That skin is even different though. Like that's still, this is still kind of that skin, but I feel like once it starts getting to the actual butt hole, the skin is wrinkled. So I don't even know. That's why some people kind of like shade around it. They don't even like get at it because the skin is so creased. There's not a lot of like firmness, you know? So it's a lot of just like, Pressing down really hard, stretching, pulling a couple lines, and like, um, so. I've asked many, 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 many artists who have done those tattoos, how do you recommend healing that? And no one ever really knows. I think like they would just use a wipey, like like those natural Huggies wipeys, the organic ones probably, because think about it, like if they, they're literally designed for sensitive skin because they're hypoallergenic and they don't have um, like all the fragrance and parbons and stuff which is basically what they'd recommend to you if you have a tattoo, not to put that near there. Mm -hmm. And also it's an intimate area, so probably just wet wiping and avoiding tissue would probably be best. Yeah, but, perfection is on the <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I don't think that's really that sanitary having <laughs> next to a new tattoo, but I mean, like, I'm not gonna judge people. But, like, you do your thing, that's that's your pie, that's, that's just these, like. <laughs> I guess if she's wet or not. We need to get a hobby. The most difficult part to tattoo for me personally, uh, ribs, man. Ribs? Ribs? The ribs? The ribs for me. I hate tattooing. The breathing, ribs. right? Yeah. The ribs. Oh. It's the ribs. I hate ribs. Yeah, ribs. The, the. So I typically don't accept rib cage requests anymore because I think that's a terribly difficult spot to tattoo and be tattooed. I think any tattoo artist would be pretty 
safe saying that ribs suck. The skin is very fragile and for the customer is like hell. Any part where like the client themselves isn't comfortable is is not fun. It's painful for the client, so you know, they're suffering and then I'm kind of like suffering. But tattooing the ribs is hard because everybody is uncomfortable. It's backbreaking on the artist when you have to sit there and turn. So typically you'd stand up to tattoo somebody on a massage table and it's almost backbreaking to dip, turn your back, dip and turn your back. You know, so this goes on for six hours. Um, it really hurts your back. Leaning over somebody to tattoo their ribs is the hottest place you'll ever be. This should make me sweat all the time. Think of the hottest you place you'll be. You might go tattoo the sun. Yes, you it's the hottest place you'll ever be. I make them hold their breath. <laughs> I tell them to try and breathe as normal as possible because I hate the... <sighs> I always say this, if someone has like a beer belly that's nice and firm, definitely it's a lot easier than like a flabby stomach. Kind of no matter your body type, there's like issues with it. You tell somebody a uh, price or whatever, an expectation for, for a tattoo that's this big on your leg, uh, it's understandable, but when you tell somebody a price for this tattoo and you're receiving a price that's way higher than you thought, it's because when you lean over to get your rib cage tattooed, it, it almost doubles the size of, of the artwork. Depending on the size of the piece, they have to like stretch and that always sucks because then the stencil looks all crazy and you're like, I trust my stencil, but then at the same time you're also like, that doesn't look right. The rib cage is almost like a set of knuckles where there's a rib cage, rib cage, rib cage, rib cage, and all this like meat in between. So you have to carefully finesse how you tattoo those areas. On the softer parts, you know, you have a little more forgive. When you hit the rib cages, you know, that stuff can blow out very easily. So you're constantly doing this battle between where am I at on the body? Aside from trying to keep a good piece of artwork, you're now worried about like blowing out, going too light, etc., etc., etc. The first few times I tattooed the ribs, I felt like my lines were like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> And I was upset. So overall, it's just not very like enjoyable and I like doing tattoos that I enjoy tattooing. I just tell people that I don't tattoo the ribs. Uh, maybe we can move it somewhere else. I haven't done this yet, but I feel like a really difficult to place to like get the ink in and like make it look even would be like armpit. Armpit suck. I really hate this part here. The back of the arm slash armpit flab. This area is, is, is weird sometimes, depending if the person has stretch marks. I don't know why the ink, I could just never get the ink in there good, so <laughs> I hate that part. Getting my armpits lasered is way more, yeah, that hurt a lot. The skin just is like, some people got crazy armpits, first off, it's not smooth skin sometimes, you know? Um, you know, like you, you gotta keep moving it to get the right stretch for the tattoo. Um, they don't always heal well. Do not get your armpit flab tattooed. In my opinion, there's so many difficult parts, but like the neck, I'm not so good at tattooing necks and I don't tattoo them that often. The it's neck kind of is tough. annoying, the but- The neck is annoying. It's just like, it's more difficult for the client, I feel like, because they're just sitting there like, man. <laughs> the bent neck lady from what's, what's the house on Haunted <laughs> Hill or whatever. Yeah. Just like constant like that. The throat is always weird depending if the person has like, you know, big Adam's apple, if it sticks out a lot or not. The neck is so vascular and it's such like loose skin. It's on the side of the neck could be easy, but here is, can get really difficult, especially if if uh, you're tattooing a man and, and he has a very prominent Adam's apple. Just recently I did like a chest piece and it had these roses that weren't necessarily like on the neck because I feel like I can make that work, but it was like right in between his chest, which he was like pretty built and so it was like bigger. So he was sitting in a chair like this for like as long as he could stand, you know, 15, 20 minutes at a time and then we'd have to like get up. It was just so like tedious to go through all this just to do like a rose that was like this big. And this is a little sidebar, you know, but like I really don't think y'all understand like the concept of don't move. <laughs> y'all be moving <laughs> It's harder to tattoo somebody who can't sit yeah. than it is to tattoo anything else. Anywhere where, you know, you have a lot of movement, it's definitely, it's definitely a pain. I prefer forearms, uh, like chest. All those places are good for me. But when somebody just moves the entire time, it just makes the experience bad for everyone involved. And to the people who's always fixing your shirt every 10 seconds, just let it out. Just let it hang, man. All right, you want me to get a partition or something? Like, cause every time you move your shit, I'm trying to tattoo you, like it's, it's frustrating. Like, uh, so my wife saw me get my shoulder tops tattooed, but where it had been lasered, excruciating. It was weird, I don't know. Did the hair in your armpits grow back? Yes, oh. my hair grows back. 
I don't know how that works with laser. Yeah. Like when I got my knuckles tattooed, like my hair went white, which was kind of cool. It smelled really bad, but yeah, I still got hairy knuckles. Nice. Not um, like this, like hairy knuckles, but like regular hairy knuckles. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs>